Hello my friends, it's me Chris Slight here on Slight Gaming News with the Fragmentality. First story of the day, Assassin's Creed 4 on the PlayStation 3 and the PlayStation 4 is going to have an hour's worth of exclusive content featuring Aveline, the protagonist of Assassin's Creed 3 Liberation on the PlayStation Vita. It's going to be an hour's worth of content as said, which is going to go across three story missions. It's going to be more like a short story, not necessarily following on from the end of Assassin's Creed Liberation. Exciting stuff. CD Projekt Red have said that paid DLC for The Witcher 3 is something they do not believe in. And that things like additional weapons, extra patches, fixes, all that stuff should not be paid for by the consumer. However, they haven't ruled out the possibility that if it's something very big that feels like it's worth your money, you will pay for it. Which is perfectly fine. You get a nice big wad of extra content chucked at you. They've worked on it, you should pay for it. Good on them. More of that, please. In a previous video here on the Fragmentality by my good friend Laura, she detailed how Phil Fish had got into an argument with Marcus Beer or the Annoyed Gamer on the internet and Fez 2 had been cancelled. Now Cliff Blazinski has waded in saying that he wants Phil Fish to come back and I'm going to read you some of those choice comments. So the industry needs people to speak with their hearts before their brains because I'm tired of hearing the PR approved appropriate response and that we love you and that you should come back. I completely agree with Cliff Brzezinski and I also agree that, as he says, you don't owe a damned thing to a games journalist. And now to get mildly real, just for a, just for a little while, I completely agree with Mr. Brzezinski as much of a drama bomb, to quote Lumpy Space Princess, as Phil Fish can be. He does also point out that he has Andy Kaufman as his Twitter avatar, which may give a clue as to what Phil Fish is trying to do with some of his tweets. Anyone who does not know who Andy Kaufman is, look him up on Twitter right now. He's one of the funniest men of all time. I had read an article on Pocket Gamer which said that games journalists are too ready to put themselves into the story and become a part of the story, which is not very professional. Also, having watched the beginning of that episode of Invisible Walls where the annoyed gamer goes off on Blowfish, it's what, why? Why do you feel that he doesn't have the right to not give a comment? Because he promotes stuff, he can't do what he wants. He's a human being who can do whatever he likes at any time. He can stick his hand up his ass and start whistling for 10 hours on a YouTube video. He can do that. That's up to him. He can do whatever he likes. So don't come at someone saying what they can and cannot do in this industry. He's a human being who can do whatever he likes, ladies and gentlemen, and I think very sad bullying tactic to quote Cliff Brzezinski because hits is just sad, and I think it puts a very, very sad light on this entire industry of criticism that is out there for video games at the moment, and it makes me a little sad to even be a very small part of it. So, less of that. Please come back, Phil Fish. I'd like to see Fez 2 and... Ignore the idiots on the internet. There's always going to be idiots, ladies and gentlemen. And that, coming from an idiot, is proof in and of itself. So, that's the end of Slight Gaming News. Here with me, Chris Light, on the Fragmentality. Time to say goodbye. Like the video, comment on the video, subscribe to the video. For now, though, on the Fragmentality. Bye!